everybody, and welcome to Kerbal Space Program. Alright, this is a game that I've wanted to play for a long time. Um, they've had it on PC. I don't think my computer could handle it. I don't have the best PC in the world. It's definitely not a gaming PC. Uh, but I love space, I love rockets, and uh, you guys know that I love Star Trek. This has nothing to do with Star Trek, but one of my loves of Star Trek is it's in space. So, uh, you know the premise of meeting other aliens and stuff like that. It's just really fascinating to me. But I I love rockets. Alright, there's just something about a rocket. And when I was in middle school, I want to say probably 7th and 8th grade, somewhere in there. Maybe 6th and 7th grade, I don't remember. But they had a uh, new club out. It was called the Model Rocket Club. And, uh, you know, I'm from a small school. We didn't really get to have much fun at school. So, uh, a model rocket club was a huge thing. We got to literally choose our rocket, build them, and then launch them, which was awesome. Uh, so we're going to start a new game here. I don't know what to expect. I am assuming we get to build rockets. <laughs> so, uh, start a new game because I haven't played any. I should probably do some training, but I'm not going to. So, uh, we'll just call it Spartan and let's see, should I do Sandbox or Career? Let's do Sandbox first and then we'll go in and do Career later. Alright, so what kind, of, these are flags, it looks like? I think we gotta go with NASA. I'm an American. NASA. Enough said. So. Accept. Difficulty. We'll just leave that on normal. What's the worst that can happen, right? <laughs> the best part about games where you build your own rockets are... Even when you screw up, it's awesome. Alright. So, what am I doing here? Okay, so we've got the vehicle assembly building right here. We got a space plane hangar. Mission control. Astronaut complex. Administration building. Research and development. Tracking station. And the launch pad. Oh, and a runway. So it looks like we may be able to build planes in this as well. That's kind of cool. I mean, well, maybe that's just for shuttles coming back. I don't know. We're going to try to build something epic. Which means it's probably going to land or end up in failure. <laughs> All right. Werner or Wer what okay. Werner von Kerben. Uh, Chief Rocketry Engineer, Vehicle Assembly Building. Here's where we build spacecraft. All right, got it. All right, so looks like we've got a bunch of command modules. Uh, let's not put any. Let's not put anybody in danger yet. Let's. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to kill my Kerbals. It sounds terrible, but let's just use a normal. Okay. That's not going to get to space by itself, right? So we've got to do something. There's pods, fuel, engines, command and control, structural, aerodynamics, utility, and science. Well, we're not going to worry about science right now because, you know, I love science, but there's more important things at the moment. So, uh,. Let's go ahead and put that on the bottom. Um, how do we do this? There we go. It's a little big, but we're going big. Going big, right? Go big or go home. Um, what size was I think it was two and a half. So we need... That's a one meter. Where's the two and a half meter stuff? Ok, 
Okay, so I can't use the right stick to... Okay. Kind of disappointed in that. You'd think they would made it so you could use your right stick to uh, scroll. But uh, I guess that's not a thing. 62 and a half centimeters. Oh, never mind. Where's the big fuel tanks? It says one meter. I thought it said point, or it, it, I thought that was a two five, or uh, it's the right size. There we go. This is going to be a big rocket for our first one. I wouldn't suggest starting this big. How do you zoom out? It's got to be a way. Zoom out. Zoom out. Zoom out. No. Maybe I gotta hold something. Ah! If I hold, if I hold the right or the left bumper, I can zoom out. Good. All right. So now we need an engine. Let's get an engine. Now I don't know anything about rockets, other than the fact that they go kaboom if you build them wrong. Which is funny, because that's the way mine ended up. I built a two-stage two rocket and then glued the two stages together like an idiot. So, I know I'm only like 6th or 7th grade. But generally speaking, you don't want to glue two stages together, because if you do that, then when the second stage ignites... <laughs> yeah, kaboom. Uh, electron propulsion system. Oh, electric propulsion system. I don't know how that works. Ionized xenon gas through a small thruster port. Huh. I didn't know that was a thing yet. Um, liquid fuel engine. This should be perfect. It's a little big. It's a little big. Hold on. We need a smaller engine. Really? Why? Hmm. Okay. Jet engine. The rapier engine. Turbo fans. Oh, here we go. Here's some other engines. Well, let's look at our thrust. Max thrust, 200 kilonewtons. 168. 13. 14. Alright. 200 kilonewtons sounds good. Oh, but that's a tiny engine. That must be a, a top stage. Or a... Well, that's a big engine. That's better. That looks more like it. Um, yeah. So that's our rocket, right? Should be all we need to do. Let's go ahead and... Uh, what are we going to call this? <laughs> I'm going to be really original. One. <laughs> Alright. So... Save. And... Oh wait, no, no, we can't just, if we do this, then it'll go up, and then when it comes down, it'll just crash. We need to have something to recover it, right? Uh, let's see, where would that be? Command and control, structural, aerodynamics? Mm, definitely not aerodynamics. Structural? Uh, they got to have parachutes somewhere. Utility? Fuel cells and is there any parachutes? Because parachutes are kind of important. Now these are just like fairings and wow, there's so much to this game. I'm gonna get overwhelmed. Command and control, maybe? Fly-by-wire avionics hub. It's kind of cool. Um, it's 
There's gotta be something maybe under science. There's gotta be parachutes. Gotta be somewhere in here. Maybe I gotta scroll down. Ah! Alright. This looks better. What do we got? Radial mount parachutes. That's a drogue chute. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna break something for sure. Mark 16. Extra large parachute. That sounds what we need. Um, but that's on the... I, I need... Uh, Mark 12 radial... Or Mark 2 radial mount parachute. That sounds like what we would need. So let's put... Why? Why is this a thing? Okay. Oh, okay. So we can put this anywhere on here. And we're gonna need more than one. I think, like, they usually have like three sets. Um. Okay. What is all this stuff? Aerodynamic overlay. I think I did anything. Okay. Center of mass overlay. Oh. Okay. That's center of thrust. Okay. Makes sense. The engine's at the bottom. The thrust would be at the bottom. Center of mass. Pretty center. And we don't have anything. So that's probably why that's... Okay. What is this? Toggle snap. And symmetry. Is that what I think it is? Let's do that. If this is what I think it is, then I'll have three of these on here. And they'll be perfectly placed so that they're symmetrical to one another. Which would make it a lot easier. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There we go. Alright. Launch. Let's save again. And launch. Because I've got this. So how high can I get this rocket to go? It's only got a single fuel tank, but it is a pretty massive... Oh, I probably should have... Okay, we're good. Alright, so what do I do? Okay, that's roll. Throttle? Okay, so up on the D-pad and down, throttle. Okay, what's... Hmm. And oh, oh, we're flying. Uh oh, I think I did a thing. I definitely did a thing. All right, we need to abort. We need to abort. Cut the fuel. Cut the fuel. Cut the fuel. Woo! <laughs> oh, please don't die. Please don't blow up. Please don't. Oh, you blow up. Oh, you blew up. But the computer is safe. We lost a lot of fuel, but the computer lived. <laughs> All right, um, that could have went better. Um, recover vessel. We 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 goofed up. Our parachutes deployed at the same time we launched. <laughs> I don't think that's supposed to happen. <laughs> but I'm no rocket scientist. I will figure this out. So, what do we, okay, what is it, okay, this looks like what we need. Okay, so now put that down here, or do I have to drag it, apparently? Ah, oh, drag, there you go, now we can save and launch. Now I feel much better about the fact that this will probably not die, hopefully, maybe. I give it a 50% chance of living and dying. <laughs> it's probably going to die. Let's be honest. Alright. So apparently that's our staging on the left side. And I wonder if we can do that. Uh, 
no, no, I don't even have a cursor, so I'd say no. Okay, launch! Hey, our parachutes aren't deployed, that's a good start. It's a very good start. Uh, we're turning. I think it's a little early for a turn. Uh, why? Okay. We seem to be going... Oh, oh, oh! No, no! Go! Why won't you go up? Oh, you're going the wrong way! Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This is... This is not the way this was intended to go. Okay, cut the fuel, cut the fuel, cut the fuel. Alright. Now, how fast am I going? I'm not going very fast. Um, maybe if I hit the same... How do I deploy... Pay same button? Ah, okay. Okay. I'm getting it. Um, parachutes. I'm still going way too fast. Parachutes. Okay. Whew. The scary thing is, I'm extremely heavy and those parachutes are not designed to hold this much weight. Which means I'm going to hit the ground a lot harder than I thought. Unless... Okay, I can. I can actually... That didn't work. I thought I was gonna be smart. <laughs> Alright! So far, so good. NASA, watch yourself. I'm on my way. <laughs> we'll just revert flight, I would imagine. Oh, we can go back to launch. Okay! So, I don't know exactly what happened, um, and I honestly don't know what I need to do. SAS, what is, is that? I think that's what I need to do. SAS sounds good. RCS would be like the little, like, pff, pff, thrusters things that I've seen. S I think SAS is what I need. So launch! I will get this to space. Alright, so vertical speed is, is increasing. That's a good start. <laughs> I'm like the worst rocket scientist ever. We're going very slowly. Which probably is not a good thing. I mean, we're going up. And we seem to be doing so expeditiously. Or at least, consistently. <laughs> Wouldn't call it ex expeditious, considering most rockets that are, you know, this small would just... Pff, gone. I say this small, it's not small, it's pretty heavy, probably. Alright. So... Okay, so it looks like we've got a meter up there, and the uh, top that is counting how far off the ground we are. And there's a little meter underneath it that seems to show how dense the atmosphere is, I think. So... Oh, we're starting to get really fast. I think I should throttle back. How do I th throttle back? Throttle back. Because we don't want to burn up too much fuel. All right, we're out of the thickest part of the atmosphere, so we can throttle way back. All right, now, at this point, we're almost in space. I believe we can go ahead and turn. Um, which way do we want to turn? Let's just turn this way. I don't know how much that... Oh, crap. That little sound you heard was my parachutes. <laughs> so you could end it, you could take a guess at what this is going to do.
making our turn. Hey, music. I guess that means I'm in space. All right. So Oh, things are going bad. Stop. Okay. SAS is going to save my life in this game. Cuz it stops things from rotating. It like keeps it pointed in a particular direction, which is what we want. Um I gotta say, this is really cool to be honest. Definitely see that the world is curved, even on Kerbal. We are really high up. We're at 105,000 meters. turns off my hood. This we know throttles us down. Just go ahead and cut the engine. We're in space so we should be good. Now is there anything else? Camera free, camera orbital, camera chase. Locked. Auto. Hmm. Okay, what does Y do? Oh, toggle action groups. Hmm, that's cool. Okay. Maybe it's one of these? Oh, I can use my cursor. Okay. Staging, docking, and toggle. Oh, okay. All right. So at this point, if I had to guess, doesn't look like we are, um, yeah, we are not in orbit. We are going to crash back into the Earth, or Kerbal. So, um, looks like we are over our apoapsis, and we are now plummeting back towards Kerbin. So that sounds like fun, huh? Toggle map. All right. Well, tell you what. As much fun as this is, I'm going to point back towards Kerbin. Um, maybe. Um... Oh, okay, so left stick brings up... Okay, got it. Alright, let's point this thing back towards Kerbin and crash because we have no parachutes. 
Actually, I never thought of this. We're going to be coming in extremely fast and we're going to burn up in the atmosphere a bit. That's probably not the best way to do it. <sighs> oh well. Anything worth doing is worth doing really, really stupidly, right? As Jingles would say, if it's stupid but it works, it's not stupid. This isn't going to work. It's just a newsflash. This is probably the worst way to re-enter in history. But, um, if we can turn the app SAS off. Oh, yeah, that's definitely, definitely a bad thing. Alright, point it that way. Oh, 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 that's the last way we didn't want to do. We didn't want to do that. Alright, so... <laughs> Arrow drag is real in this game. Cool. So now I have to consider re-entry as well. But yeah, so that was fun. We got into uh, space. Revert to vehicle assembly. Well, that was pretty cool, though. I mean, we did get to space. We blew up on the way back. Alright. So, now that we know we can build a rocket, I wonder if we can do solid boosters. That looks like a solid booster. Been wrong before, but that to me looks like a solid booster. Just for the fun of it. Launch. Now, in case you didn't know, there are two types of uh, rocket engines. There are liquid fueled engines, which can be throttled, and there are the solid rocket uh, boosters, which cannot be throttled. So I can set the throttle all the way down to zero. And if I stage, or if I launch, then uh, this thing's going to take off regardless. Because in a solid rocket engine, which is what you're used to using in like model rockets and stuff, once you light it, there's no stopping it. It's going to burn all the fuel. So let's hit the button. Oh, I did it again! <laughs> I did it again! How many times? Okay. Oh, this is going to... And I can't turn it off, remember? Oh, that would burn holes in my stuff. Oh, this is this is not not ideal. Oh, this is not ideal. I mean, I'm glad it's not people. <laughs> it's 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 just it's just a computer. I'm pretty sure my bosses wouldn't like this. All right. Well, that actually ended up better than I thought, even though I'm pretty sure those parachutes would have burned up. So yeah, <laughs> revert to launch. All right, now we got to change our staging. I got to remember that. That's that's going to be a killer for me if I don't remember to. Uh... Okay, so yeah. Now how do I do that? This okay. There, there's my cursor. So let's see if I can. Yep, I can. Looks like I can change my staging here, and I want my rocket engine down here. All right, and then I click that again. Launch much better. <laughs> it's crazy how that works. We'll leave SAS on so that it maintains a straight up. I, don't, I know straight up is not the way you want to launch a rocket. Generally you want to start a turn to make it more efficient so you pick up horizontal velocity. Um, and if I didn't have SAS on I'm pretty sure this thing would already have like flipped over because it's seems to me to be like top heavy oh look at that look at that we've got wind brushing off of the uh, nose cone oh we're out of fuel that's not good um. <laughs> I don't think we're making it into space with one one booster I don't think so. 
Well, ooh, is this time speed up? It is. You can go twice as fast. Or three times as fast. Four times as fast. Yeah, that seems to work. Um. Oops. Oh, they're there. Just. Hope I'm not going too fast for the parachutes. Open up! Open up! Oh. Whew. Man, those things take. They don't open until like last second. And a soft touch down in the ocean. Wasn't exactly soft, but a touchdown. And our computer is safe. So let's go ahead and recover vessel. Wonder what the space plane hangar is, other than space planes. I mean, that seems pretty obvious. Let's go over here. Space plane hangar. And I, I do want to do a career mode, and I'll probably do that. This first one is just a sandbox, seeing what I can do in this game. Um, just use this one. Seems pretty straightforward. Okay. And then we want fuel tanks. I have no idea what size. Oh, that's way too big. Yeah, that's, that's too big. What was that called? I think it was a Mark II cockpit. Well, that's too big. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be a whole lot in the way of, uh, Small. Like, these are all massive parts. You would think... Let's see. I got that, which is the Mark I. So we need to look for Mark I parts. Mark I liquid fuel fuselage. Ah, there we go! How do we get this thing to attach? Oh, it's extremely sensitive. There we go. Alright! It's looking more like a plane already. We're gonna need a couple of those. Huh? How did that get so small? Can we find a tail section? Mark, mark two. Mark two to one and a quarter. Hmm. 
Hmm. Sorry if I'm really quiet. It's just a lot to actually like look for. It's the Mark II. We need the Mark I. Is there not like a Mark I? Maybe it's an aerodynamics? Tail connector B, tail connector A. I think that's what we needed. What? How is that a thing? This is going to frustrate me. Maybe it's this one. Why? Why won't it just connect to the thingy? Just connect to the thingy! Like, this is ruining my plane. Why would it not just connect to the darn green dot that's there? Is there something I'm missing? Maybe I need to... Hope oh, that was... That, no, no, no. That's... Tail connector. just connect to the back of that. I am, I'm getting frustrated. Not gonna lie. Maybe I just need to... Maybe it's too long. Will it connect now? Why? Why won't you connect? Hmm. Yeah, that's frustrating. What kind of wings can we get? Canard. Oh, we don't want canards. Canards are like the front flaps on some weird planes. just wish this thing would just like connect like it should. Like it should just snap to the rest of it like everything else did. Maybe I just had the wrong snap. Why is that a thing? Just... <laughs> uh, yeah. Don't think I'm going to be building too many planes if they're this frustrating. Like... <sighs> tail connector. This raised variant of our popular airplane tails provides a lot of ground clearance during takeoff. Yes. I'm at a loss. Hmm. I don't know. I'm thinking about just strapping an engine to it and go. Not gonna lie. Let's go with swept wings because swept wings. I mean, come on. Symmetry.
That looks cool. Will it fly? Probably not. But it looks cool. And that's half the battle. Maybe it's under structural. Maybe that's where I can get the tail for this thing. Nah, it didn't look right. Doesn't look right, unfortunately. Utility. Uh, that's landing gear, which is going to be kind of important eventually. I don't know why this tail isn't connecting. It should, in theory, just snap right to the back. I honestly cannot figure out how to get this on here, so uh, let's just go. That's an intake. Oh, is that a thing too? Am I going to have to put intakes? Oh boy. Engines. I mean, it makes sense. Goliath turbofan engine. Don't think we need that. Afterburning turbo fan, that sounds great. Lick click to the back of this thing. It does! Alright. Now I think our wings may be a little bit too far backwards, so let's pull them slightly forward. Like, that's gonna do me any good. Ha! Ah, Alright. That looks a little better. They're probably too far forward now. Crap. All right, that looks good. Now, let's put some wheels on it. I think they were under structural. Uh, no, they were under utility. Utility wheels. I'm gonna have some weird wheels, probably. Okay, one wheel. Now two more of those for the back. That looks goofy, but it should work. All right, now I think I said I needed an intake, right? So where was that? Aerodynamics, I think, intakes. I probably shouldn't have opened that while I was like doing this video with you guys. <laughs> 
And I, so I apologize if this looks like crap, but uh, it's really a lot to learn. And I'm not the quickest in the box. That's for sure. Wait, what was that? Is that an intake? It is. Ah, alright. Maybe I can just slap this on the top. Let's get rid of that so we don't end up putting two. I'm gonna say this. You can tell this is a PC game. Because it does not like console. Ah, that's all off-centered. That'll drive me crazy. Now it's off-centered the other direction. There we go. Alright! We got us a little jet. What do we call this? B. Because it's tiny. Save. And launch. <laughs> I have a sneaking suspicion that this isn't going to work quite as well as you'd hope. First of all, it doesn't have a tail. Which kind of leads me to believe that that's not going to want to do it much of anything as far as flying goes but I mean that being said it, it, it might fly only one way to find out now okay so all right now fly uh oh I think I did the thing again. Oh, this is gonna... Yeah. Alright, so does anybody want to take an idea of what happened there? I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> um, basically, there are no flaps on it. How am I gonna lift off if there are no flaps to direct the airflow? Wow, this game is really in-depth. I like it, but at the same time, it's not for new people. <laughs> um, Elevon, that, that sounds good. And we want to put this into snap mode. Right? So... Uh-oh. Yeah, that didn't want to work. I'm going to have to f find another one. Maybe these ones? Is there a way to rotate these? Like, Okay. Um, what about... Uh, put this on. Well, that doesn't look very good at all, but it kind of looks cool. And you know what that, that means. If it looks cool, it must fly, correct? I mean, that, that's what I've always heard. If it looks cool, it's got to fly. This is a bad day to be a Kerbal. Ah, <laughs> oh, Jebediah Kerman. You brave man. And, without further ado, launch! Wait, I didn't even check to see if I have flaps. Oh, oh, oh. Well, I had some flaps. I didn't know what I was doing. So... <laughs> Alright. 
So I'm thinking that if I throttle up and I turn SAS on and then I launch Come on! Lift off! Lift off! Why are you not lifting off? It's up this way, that would push back, right? Oh! Uh-huh. I think I goofed again. The, the pitch of the wing flaps, I got them at an angle the wrong way. I was essentially pushing them down into the plane. So, uh, yeah, smooth move by me there. Alright, so if I correct, I should have to push up to get this to go up instead of pressing down. So, any second now, this is going to lift off like a crazy eagle majestic yeah all right so I'm gonna leave this one here because as fun as it is to watch me crash over and over again um, <laughs> I'm obviously not gonna be building a whole lot of planes anytime soon rockets are much easier to build in this game apparently um, yeah, that's not pretty. <laughs> Sorry, B. I'm going to change your name to the, the Epic Failure. <laughs> but anyway, so if you like what I'm doing and you like my videos, punch that like button for me. Leave me some comments. Leave me some tips if you guys know this game, if you guys have played this game. Give me some tips. I will be more than happy to read them because, good lord, I got a lot to learn about this game. So, uh... Like I said, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video.